I am going to show you how to make these pencil holders. I used the um, Knit Pail yarn that was given to me. I made a video on um, reviewing her yarn, which is a team um, colored yarn that she special um, she does special orders for, and she dyes the yarn um, just for schools. Um, but I'm sure she could do a special order for you if you're looking for a certain color that you can't find. Um, so my team colors that I gave her were um, black and orange, and she wanted me to make something with the yarn, so I decided to make a pencil holder um, that's somewhat school related. You can make it for your teacher or for your desk. Um, she does college colors as well. I'll link, I'll place a link underneath this video um, to link back to her website for um, the Knit Pail uh, website. And um, if you like to order um, any of her yarn, um, you can take a look. So this is what I made. I made the pencil holder. I used an H hook. Um, it measures five inches um, lengthwise and um, across. I'm, it measures about two and a half inches. And um, to follow this pattern, um, it will be um, those dimensions. Um, of course, you can make it bigger with a larger hook, um, make it smaller with a smaller hook. Um, okay, uh, the pattern is listed down below if you need a written pattern. Okay, so let's get started. I'm using the Knit Pail yarn that was created for me. I did a video on the review, and this is the yarn, the orange yarn and the black yarn for the team colors. Um, Casey wanted me to make a video on making something with her yarn after it was colored. She made that the colored yarn for me. So I'm going to um, start with a slip knot onto my hook. And to get started for this pattern, I'm going to chain five. And then I'm going to slip stitch to create a ring. And then I'm going to chain three. If this is too fast for you, I just created a video on how to watch a video in slow motion. Um, so you can go back and watch it. You can go to my channel and look at my newest videos. Um, you're going to work 15 double crochet into the ring. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to continue until you have 15, but with the chain three, it will be a total of 16. So once you have your 16 double crochet in the ring, then meet me back at the very beginning. All the way around. Now that you have your 16 double crochet, you're going to slip stitch on top of the chain three. And you're going to chain three and work a double crochet in that same stitch as the chain three. Each double crochet from the first round there gets two double crochet. Work two double crochet right into each stitch until you get to the beginning. Work that all the way around. At the end here, you're going to add three double crochet to give you 33 because for the next round you'll need 33. So three all together, two, and then three. And then slip stitch on top of the chain three and pull your loop up. You're going to um, leave this and work with this later so there is no fastening off. And then you're going to go and add your new color. Work 
When you add your new color, you're going to add it right next to this chain three slip stitch. Slip stitch your black color or your color in. And then you're going to chain three. And then you're going to add three double, well, two double crochet, which the chain three is a double crochet, so two double crochet. Then you're going to skip, so skip one, and then two double crochet, and then work three double crochet in the next stitch. You're just going to move that loop over. Then you're going to skip two, and that's the pattern, one, two, and work three double crochet. And then you're going to skip two, one, two, and work three double crochet. That's the pattern around, work that all the way until you get to the beginning. So three, skip two, three, skip two, three, all the way until the beginning again. And just slip stitch into the chain three, chain one and pull through. And then um, you have your loop that you left. So you're gonna pull it through and you're going to I already have the chain one there, so you're going to chain two around in between the three double crochet. Then you're going to work a double crochet. You're going to leave this one be, and you're going to come down and right into that space underneath it and over. You're going to pull up and work a double crochet because now you're doing double crochet, chain one, double crochet um, V stitches. So it's gonna look like that to start. But then you're gonna come over here, you're going to skip one, two, three, and go in between, and go under, and work a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's the pattern for this round because you're gonna alternate between this round and that round from now on. So one, two, three, go in between, V-stitch, chain one, double crochet, and then one, two, three, go in between, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. It's going to look like this. Now you're at the end here with the black and you're going to take your yarn over that and slip stitch on the chain three. And then you're going to chain one and loop up. So chain one and loop up. And then you're going to take your loop from your previous and you're going to bring it through And chain three, one, two, three. So in between that chain one V stitch, work three chains and then double crochet twice. And then skip through here. And you're going to work right in the V stitch In the next V stitch, you're going to do three double crochet. You can push the loop out of the way to work with it again later. So three double crochet. And then into the next V stitch, three double crochet. And you're gonna work that all the way around, three double crochet into the V stitch. So you're at the end here, and you're going to slip stitch in the chain three.
chain one and pull up and then take your orange that you drew your loop up and you're going to have your chain one that's already there and do chain two and you're going to work a double crochet right under the orange here and then you're going to go into the next underneath the orange chain double crochet I mean chain one double crochet and then go to the next underneath double crochet chain one double crochet and then go into the next underneath in between these three double crochet work a double crochet chain one double crochet it's going to look like this and you're going to work that all the way around until you get to the beginning again Okay, you're at the end here. You're going to slip stitch on top of this chain. And now you're going to chain one and pull up. Now you're going to repeat Now you're repeating rounds. So you're taking which you were already repeating, but now we're just going back and forth. We're alternating. Um, so now I'm going to take my black and have it go through the chain one, and then chain three, chain three. And you're going to work two double crochet in that chain one. Then you're going to go to the next. And work in the V stitch, work three double crochet. And then in the next V stitch, you're going to do the same thing. And this is just a repeat of going back and forth between colors so you have three double crochet in each v-stitch and work that all the way around to the beginning okay so now you're back at the beginning you can slip stitch on top of that chain three chain one and pull up and now you find your orange and you go through and you're going to create your um, you have your chain one and then I'll just show you this one again but um, so it's just alternating between the two patterns um, rows and you're going to chain two work a double crochet right in between that um, color there and then you're going to go to the next one and go underneath the color work a double crochet chain one double crochet this is the pattern. The pattern is listed down below and um, you're alternating between the two rows of colors. So each row of color, just two rows, have um, their own pattern. So this one has the V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet underneath. And then the black has the three double crochet in between the V-stitches and you're alternating between the two. You just go back and forth, loop up. Once you loop up, you chain one to loop up um, well you chain one and then loop up after at the end of each row and then you're going to have to find that loop and go through um, so at the end here to finish off you can slip stitch you're going to um, slip stitch the last row would um, be the v-stitch um, you're going to chain one and then work a single crochet around so chain one single crochet in the chain one single crochet in between single crochet in the chain one, single crochet in between. And then you're just going to repeat that around until you get to the beginning. So it's going to look like this. Just a single crochet all the way around to the beginning. You can do it two times around or just one time. This is um, how you'll finish off. 